Gaze tracking and free space hand gestures have each been explored as UI control methods. Like all input methods, they have strengths and weaknesses. Gaze tracking innately offers rapid, absolute pointing. However, it is virtually modeless, save perhaps blinking. It overloads the visual channel, and it is tiring when used for continuous manipulation. On the other hand, free space gesturing is highly modal, offering expansive gesture set. However, operating in the air precludes reference points, meaning input must be relative and generally decoupled from digital content, which reduces precision. We propose a multimodal approach, fusing gaze and gesture input to enable rapid, precise, and expressive touch-free interaction. Gaze is used to denote a target or region of interest, and the hand is used to act on the target. This separation of tasks forms the basis of an interaction taxonomy. Because eye tracking is not 100% accurate, on-screen targets can lie above and below the direct selection threshold. Further, the hand can be used for discrete actions, such as a wave, or for fine-grained continuous manipulation, such as moving a cursor. Thus, a 2x2 taxonomy is formed, each with a different flavor of interaction. Using this taxonomy as a framework, we develop several example interactions to illustrate the potential of our approach. These are presented in the context of three interactive scenarios we developed. In this example desktop scenario, a user looks at an icon, pinches, and pulls up to open it. The user can use a grab gesture to select and move a window, or pinch to select and move an icon to a gaze target. Grabbing and pushing down closes a window. Controls on widgets can also be adjusted, such as the buttons and volume control on this music player. Different hand gestures are used to disambiguate between these nearby controls. Additionally, notifications can be dismissed or expanded with a hand swipe to the left or right. In this text editor, a user can roughly position the cursor by gazing and pinching, then fine-tune the position by moving his hand. He can select a small amount of text by immediately pinching and dragging again. A two-finger flick summons a menu of tiles, and then another flick selects a command. For large selections, the user positions the other end of the selection by gazing, double pinching, and fine-tuning. This time, the text is highlighted and deselected with a final pinch. In this 3D model viewer, the user looks to the right bezel and pulls to reveal a drawer. The user gazes at a molecule and drags it to the workspace. He can pan and rotate with one or two hands in full 3D. A circle highlights the gaze node and the user can pinch to show more information. The user can zoom in and out of the focus node, enabling fluid and natural 3D interaction. To assess the performance of our approach, we ran a fit-style pointing performance study, which compared against five comparable techniques. Gaze blink, in which users gaze at a target and blink to select. Gaze dwell, in which users hold their gaze on a target to select. Gesture only, in which the users select a target by pinching and moving the hands. A standard computer mouse and laptop trackpad. We found that our gaze and gesture approach is competitive and offers advantages over approaches using gaze or gesture alone. Please see the paper for details.